Hey, it's Oh Too Many Fish, and thought I'd do an update on some of our uh, uh, more unusual tangs today. So we're looking at the acro frag tank outside, and here's a nice update on the rabbi tang. As you can see, he's gotten big, and the hole through him. Oh, perfect! He showed that off nice. The hole through him has gotten a little bit larger, but fish is doing well. This guy's been with us for two years now. Call him the rabbi tang. There's a new little emperor we got to grow up out here on the in the frag tank. See how he does. If he's well behaved, he'll make it to the indoor tank. Uh, and here's a yellow belly regal that we're going to acclimate to the system outside. Hopefully, he'll do well and he'll make his way inside. Uh, thanks to Jacinia from Unique Corals, we have been dipping our corals like crazy and finally starting to get some nice color back on things. The acropore eating flatworms were going to town out here, so we've been on a regiment of uh, dipping twice a week, and it looks like we're getting some happy corals back again. Now we're in the Mountie tank, and I'll try to do this, a quick brief updates on this more quickly. Uh, this is a stock of 15 brown acros. Uh, they are all Bali Ultra Corals, but as you can see, there's nothing too ultra about them. Right now, they're all turd browns. Uh, these are the same corals, and these are have been in the system three weeks as of Thursday, which will be tomorrow. These went in yesterday. They were all brown, and as you can see, even in just 24 hours, this one's already starting to turn a nice pink red, uh, just from the sunlight. These guys, we've got some blue tips coming in. We got some greens and yellows. And again, all from natural sunlight. So I'll try to uh, more frequently update this little quick pack so you can see how quickly the sun changes these from turds to gems. I want to do a quick update on our blue tangs without tails. So we have three of them in this tank. And of course, right now when I want to show them, oh, there they are. So there's our, on the bottom is our smallest one, and these are the two we've had for a year plus now, uh, and they are doing great. And my wife loves the fact that we collect things like the rabbi tang and blue tangs without holes and without tails. So here is something that I always warn people about. If you're going to buy a blue tang, don't buy them when they're the size of a dime. Well, this is in the overflow box. This guy is probably maybe just the size of a dime and he's a little blue tang without a tail. So I was obligated to get him to make my wife happy. Uh, he should do really well in here. The overflow is full of Kato and Calerpa, and so it's a pod f bonanza in there, and we're hoping to grow him out, and once he's nice and happy, we'll add him to our collection of other ones. So I hope to make this a happy journey of this guy fattening up and doing really well, and we'll see.